Hello and welcome to Gulp and Nosh. This is episode 48. And I am Alex. Does that mean we've done the year yet? No, 52 in the year. She is. Emu. She is. Nara. She is. Emu. Picking her nose. You're not Emmy. <laughs> okay. Who are you? Nelly. There you go. Today. Yeah, Vampirina on your shirt. Today we have another okay. yum box. Uh, it, the description is a place where the hills have eyes. What? Uh, yes, the demon eyes are staring into your soul. We, we will take the guess of uh, the sound of music. Although I put the picture, a picture of the box up in our Discord. Find that link below to talk to us. And uh, Tubi said... Uh, um. uh, Tennessee was where they filmed uh, The Hills Have Eyes or whatever, that horror movie. I think it'd be pretty funny if it was from Tennessee. I apologize for last week's video that was in a totally weird aspect ratio and then I tried to fix it through editing but uh, it wasn't that much better. Um, it was just kind of black bars on the side. Um, but yeah, uh, Thank you to Pip for helping me figure out the new webcam and getting a correct aspect ratio. And the drum roll the country is? It's Austria. Austria, we were right. Uh, you can find Pip's channel. Uh, I like this. If you click on our channel feed or our main channel page, it's in the channels we like. Uh, along with all of our friends and other cool channels. Okay, uh, we got the trivia questions. Can we know? Yeah, find us a trivia question. As part of her beauty regimen, Empress Elizabeth wore a mask of its kind of food. Melted cheese, fish eggs, raw veal, or mayonnaise. Um, I picked Part of her beauty regimen, she wore a mask of melted cheese, raw veal, what was eggs? Fish eggs. Fish eggs, and what was the last one? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I want, I'm <laughs> Mayonnaise would be the worst idea ever, because that's want, just like, lots of fat, I want right? Melted like, cheese. it's like... Melly's chosen melted cheese. It's like... It's like it would eggs clog and stuff. your pores and stuff. Um, I'm going to go with fish eggs because she's an empress, and uh, that seems like the most lavish thing that you could do. Yeah. Man, I'm going with fish eggs, too, for that same reason. Right. Fish eggs are really expensive, so... I'm going, I'm go, I want with mayonnaise. Alright, she's going with, with mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Raw veal. Raw veal. I suppose that's kind of pricey too, because veal is like the baby sheep, so you pay more for it to... Anyway, let's move on. What's our first snack? Paprika chips. Uh, between 1867 and 1918, Austria was part of Austria-Hungary, an empire where the two countries shared power and spices. It was during this time that Austria became hooked on paprika. Thanks to a man named Janos Kotanye. It, it looks like ketchup chips. That. That. Are you gonna eat it? It looks like bacon. Looks, looks like, like bacon? Looks like ketchup chips. Doesn't taste like bacon. No. I feel like it doesn't have much of a flavor. There's a bit of a kick. At, there's a bit of a flavor up front. Up front, and then it just sort of melts into blandness. Me, there's a lot of flavor. I thought it was pretty bland. Good. Emmy the Eternal Contrarian decides that it has tons of flavor. I think it's kind of bland. You thought Moxie had a ton of flavor. It does, and everybody in the entire world agrees with me. Even people that like it. No. 
Okay. You're wrong. Like, you're just yeah. fundamentally wrong about it, Moxie. It, 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 it doesn't sound like it. I don't you don't like, like it now? No, I don't, I don't like it I don't now. particularly like it. Okay, Pishinger Mandel Regal. It's an almond cream filled wafer with milk chocolate and almond coating. Ooh, that yeah. sounds good. Want to hear something nuts? In the late 19th century, Austrian oh, yeah, confectioner like Oscar Pischinger yeah. created a plain round wafer that one, saw astronomical sales, two, launched his company to fame, and three, earned the admiration of the royal court. While we love wafers as much as the next person or more, we were skeptical that a simple wafer really accomplished all that. Oh. Oh. Good. 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 I know I'm, I'm going to compare every wafer covered in chocolate to okay. Kit Kat. There you go. But uh, it's like a really fancy Kit Kat. It is. This one actually is like It's much more than just a Kit Kat. It's got nuts on the top and uh, multiple layers there and a lot more chocolate. Up next, we have another bag of the same brand of chips, Kelly's Kelly's chips. Same people that did the paprika chips. These are Kelly's Snips, which are puffed corn peanut snacks. When we came across this yum, we had a few questions. The first, why is there an American flag on the package? The answer takes us back 65 years after World War II. American soldier Howard Moore... Kelly decided to stay in Austria to start the snack company with his business partner, Herbert Rast. So, uh, after World War II, this American stayed in Austria and started this company, Kelly's. Looks like a Cheeto. But, um... And why do you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Yeah, you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day. It tastes like crunchy peanut butter. Like a puff of peanut butter. That's, that's it does, exactly what it, it tastes like. It does taste like a peanut butter, no, but no. I don't know. It tastes like one of those more natural ones. They're like more expensive. Good. You good. didn't even have it. I'd say good. <laughs> I'd say it's okay. Nora thinks it's good, you even though try? she didn't have it. You know they can't see you over there. Good. Good. Decided to try. It's good. You just see your forehead. What a lovely view. Big banana it. dark chocolate bar I with know. banana mousse filling. Austria is totally bananas for bana bananas for bananas. With the snow-capped Alps covering over 60% of Austria's land, the country isn't exactly equipped to grow tropical Ooh. bananas. Nevertheless, they're they're Austria's second most popular fruit, right behind apples. To satisfy local demand, a whopping 107,229 tons of bananas are imported from the Dominican Republic every year. It smells extremely banana. I'm not excited about the dark chocolate part of it. Dark chocolate's delicious, and he's crazy. Yeah, well, you like Moxie, so. It has no taste. Oh, she's insane. It has bananas in it. Yeah. To me, that does not taste like a banana. I like it. it tastes like a banana. That tastes like a like a really strong no, strawberry. Like it. it definitely doesn't taste like a strawberry. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's stop it. Tastes like a banana. Um, Dad. So this next one is strawberry flavors, so she'll probably think it tastes like bananas. Milch wafflets. Strawberry cream filled wafer with chocolate. Yum. Pop quiz in Austria. Ananas. Ananas is a word for a particular fruit. Can you guess which? Nope, it's not bananas. Strawberry. It actually refers to pineapple and strawberry. In the early 20th century, Austria had tons of wild and farmed strawberries called Eberbern. 
er, erdbering, erdbering, <laughs> but barely any pineapples. Seeking to differentiate the strawberry varieties, Austrians decided to call the one wild one erdbering and farm ones ananas. Repurposing the unused word for pineapples. So it means both now. Both of them are chocolate. I don't like it, like it. Tastes like apples. <laughs> I'm joking because you said the bananas taste like strawberries. They did. They don't. They taste they like... Don't. I think her taste buds are messed up. He never took me to the doctor, by the way. He's a liar. Good. Yeah. Good. It's good, Daddy. I'm not concerned. Bobby Caramel Bar. Meet Count Bobby. That's the name of the dapper fella on this candy's wrapper. He looks like Mr. Peanut to me. It does. And the subject of Austria's favorite jokes. No one knows who first came up with Count Bobby jokes but they likely arose in the early 20th century as a way of poking fun at Austrian elites. The jokes center on Count Bobby, a bumbling aristocrat who's always missing the point. Take this one for example. Count Bobby reads that in Munich, a pedestrian is stuck by a car every hour. Shocked, he exclaims, that poor pedestrian. <laughs> thinks that the same pedestrian is getting hit every hour. I know. Okay. Anyway, it's, um, what is it? A milk chocolate bar with caramel nougat and crispy wheat rice. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. Good. That was very good. I like it a lot. Very rich. Caramel. Nougat. This envelops your mouth. It's truly an elite flavor. I'm not supposed to do that. An elite flavor. White supremacists have taken over the OK symbol. So I'm not supposed to do that. What? Yes. Uh, no. Okay. Wow. Simple. Wow. I can do. I can still do chef's kiss, right? Yeah. No racists have taken over the chef's kiss. Wow. Okay. Chest nur gingerbread. Okay, I was right. Soft gingerbread with hazelnuts, almonds, candied orange, and sugar glaze. We thought about waiting to put this gingerbread in our holiday box, but that decision would not have been very Austrian. You see, Austrians don't just eat gingerbread during the holidays, they eat it all year round. They're soft, round gingerbread cookies packed with anything from honey to anise to chocolate and nuts are enjoyed way beyond the winter season. I'm going to lure you out here. I'm going to lure you. Come here. Come here so the camera can actually see you. <laughs> She's a dog now, by the way. No. That's very bland. It was kind of a weird uh, consistency. Yeah. Weird consistency and it's very uh -huh. bland. I wanted to really like it because I like the gingerbread flavor, but the nuts throw me off. It's 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 like a like a fruit cake or something like that. When you bite into it, you expect it to be mostly cookie, but it's actually mostly like mixed nuts and stuff. So there's a biting through like multiple layers of nuts rather than like a bread or, or whatever. It's very much like a like a fruitcake. Consistency wise at least. 
<laughs> I will I will not be immature in reading the name of this next one. Nut Joe. <laughs> Nut Joe Hasselness Waffle. He says we'll while well, slightly laughing all thunderous breath. Not Joe. There's nothing funny about that Nut Joe. It's just a guy named Joe who's a nut. Like he's crazy. He's a big old nut. Oh, God. Not Joe. Nothing funny about it. I don't know why she's laughing. Hazelnut and chocolate cream filled wafer. Everything has wafers. What is it? All these other I countries. I love Austria. All these, wafers all are like, amazing. All the countries that we get. This is just wafer. Chocolate covered wafer. Wafer, 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 wafer. Wafer, coconut wafer, chocolate covered wafer. Why, this why? kind of wafer and wafer and wafer and wafer. Why does everybody like oh, wafers so I much? love wafers, so I'm very happy. In America, this. we have Kit Kats, and we have Nilla wafers, and, and that's like it. Yeah. That's the only popular... Those are like the only wafer things. <laughs> and Nilla, are Nilla wafers even really wafers? Life is sweeter in Vienna, at least according to the world-famous Mercer Quality of Living survey. For a whopping 10 years straight, the extensive report has ranked Vienna the number one city in the world for its quality of life. So what makes Vienna so great? Well, in addition to receiving perfect scores for health care, education, and infrastructure, the city is also a bustling cultural hub. Why are we reading about Vienna? Alright, not Joe. Wafers. Vienna's cool. Number one city in the world. I know. I didn't feel like reading of what it has to do with Nut Joe. Oh, no. Apparently Nut Joe lives in Vienna. So if you live, or you could travel to Vienna, go say hi to Nut Joe. Good. <laughs> Did you already eat some? Because yeah. I haven't. So. Delicious. Yeah. yeah. Delicious and not nutritious. Good. <laughs> Could have done better, Nut Joe. Awesome Austrians. Is Nut Joe on here? No. Mozart, Tesla, Marie Antoinette, Arnold Schwarzenegger, etc. That was Austria. Thank you for watching. Hit up the D box for links to our Discord and email if you want to talk to us, communicate with us in some way. There's a link to our Patreon and our Streamlabs if you want to donate. It'd be awesome. Hit like and subscribe. And hit uh, check the D box for what we're drinking next week. So what we're drink drinking along. next week. So you can drink along. So you're not drinking drink with along. us. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Excuse me.